Another one. In answer to your most likely questions, no, I do not sell seats, no, I do not grant autographs, and no, I absolutely will not make a wager with you. Playing coy. I kind of like that. All right, then, I'll play along. I am Dominaire. I'm the reason the Arena Grand has ever been, and continues to be, the greatest source of entertainment in all the Eternal Empire. Drive. Hard work. Intellect. Charisma. Possibly some underwriting for my parents, but I don't like to talk about it. Now excuse me, I have to find a last instant replacement to die horribly at the hands of the Eternal Empire's most lethal... Oh, maybe... No. No. Never mind. Wait! Wait, please! You look like you've been in a dust-up or two in your time. Would you be interested in possibly becoming wealthy and famous? Oh, you're one of those. The scrappy dreamer who hopes to rise up from obscurity to become eternal champion. That scenario is a fantasy for a reason. Come to think of it, been a while since I build anyone as... Uh... Oh, and I know. I'll call you the Mysterious Stranger. Ooh, we had a Battlemaster just last week. Lost his head in record time, so Mysterious Stranger it is. Fight time's almost here. You're slated to go up against the Master of Killers. If you need to say goodbye to anyone, make it quick and get on in there. That's the spirit. I need this to look like a real fight. So try to stay alive a little while. <laughs> Chodopa, Slimo Gushu Skrungi. Kimara Tamkichi Rulia. Prana Nu Prata Donkey Tony. Tate inya ne anya. Kavanopis, tu bomba wula. La choba non botafa atikonia chi tut nik la nonia. Hopa ma wan skatuski, uana wada so ka kopa. La yama bitsu changa. Eme chatong micha. Kavaje ulwane kuz. Na 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 tuta tatula musta. 
Chopa Totaki Pola Kupri, Ti Opra Chi Pangatisa. Kukla du Chosi Nawi, Kuchusa Yomata Chi Pompota. Hodruda Morulia, Dobata Gimwa Atima. Grichka uba tichu, te java kava. Hopa gunka ahaya, kulka. Chikapuk non si slimo. Togo togo. Parci mi cisa dumpa. Mi stuca moguto. Pagona wampa la haga wa kilia. Cicotta wanta waba. Hopa gunka ahaya. Kulka. Just wanted to say, nice job bringing in Bodar. He's got a sharp mind, good instincts, and a lot of experience. Not to mention all the interesting people he knows. The intimidation factor is good, too. People are gonna think twice about trying to cross an intergalactic pit-fighting champion, even if he is retired. A great addition to our crew, Commander. Keep him coming. Stand down, team. I'd wager we're not looking at an attack. No need to pick a fight. Jedi are usually quite reasonable. So, what brings you out today? A disturbance in the Force? Oh, or the seductive call of the dark side? It's never been in my nature to judge a tome by its bindings. Talo Strelik, at your service. Welcome to my humble expedition. I know what you're thinking. What dastardly evil could they be unearthing here? The answer is less sinister than you might assume. We're studying the Temple of Sacrifice. Or parts related, anyway. In hindsight, I realize that isn't helping my case. A device intended to feed power to a Sith Emperor through offerings of the living. No longer functional after the fight with Revan. The temple was created by the Emperor's design, much like the Eternal Empire. I suspect there could be shared elements in the technology. We're working to exhume functional samples, but the Masasi make the work quite dangerous. That's the spirit. Here are the locations we should search. I'll be right behind you. Ah! I haven't been on an excavation quite this thrilling since my old master vanished. Never a dull moment when it comes to Sith archaeology, you know. You were a great help. These specimens should be more than enough to conduct the necessary tests. You've done so much for my research and asked nothing in return. I am in your debt. You're a colleague of Dr. Juvard Ogarov. Oh. That's wonderful news. 
I couldn't ask for a better engineering consultant. I'll begin preparations to depart the Yavin system forthwith. Exciting times lay ahead. Commander, I wanted to share my gratitude over your recent recruitment of Talos Drelic and commend your insight. In truth, we have sorely needed an individual more specialized in ancient knowledge and the more force-oriented technologies. Sadly, my genius lies elsewhere, and as these types of technologies form the foundation of so much within the Eternal Empire, it has been a consistent stumbling block for us. However, Dr. Drellick's insights have already started to break down these barriers to our progress, and I delight to imagine the inevitable breakthroughs that will soon follow. In fact, he was just speaking to me about the thesis for his doctorate, an in-depth analysis of an ancient race known as the Dashad. Fascinating work. Apparently, these creatures could siphon and consume force essence. Imagine what might result if the mechanisms behind this ability could be properly researched and understood. Could we create some sort of fixed or even portable biotechnological platform? Some sort of force dampening or consuming field? Or perhaps an explosive or warhead-like delivery platform? The possibilities. So myriad it is dizzying. I... I must be alone with my thoughts. Such inspiration must be captured. Reassurance. 
I will not rest until I exceed all previous specifications. Dr. Ogarup should be updated on my status. I look forward to our first, or rather, next mission together. Get many visitors out this way. A delivery droid, a roosting thranter, the odd sail speeder. Momentary distractions, not always unwelcome. I've never had the pleasure of a Jedi's company for my afternoon recess. I have a sealed tin of Jeru tea awaiting such an occasion. Pity. I find tea to be a remarkable emollient. Nothing unfurrows a brow quite like it. To what do I owe this visitation? By all means, take in the sights and be on your way. It's been nice to have made your acquaintance. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I ha I don't get many visitors out this way. A delivery droid, a roosting thranter, the odd sail speeder. Momentary distractions, not always unwelcome. I've never had the pleasure of a Jedi's company for my afternoon recess. I have a sealed tin of Jeru tea awaiting such an occasion. Pity. I find tea to be a remarkable emollient. Nothing unfurrows a brow quite like it. To what do I owe this visitation? Then you haven't been told nearly enough. It's been nice to have made your acquaintance. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to attend to. Age and infirmity have a way of narrowing one's concerns. My health is failing, and I'm afraid that conventional medicine isn't up to the task of stopping my inexorable slide toward oblivion. This is the place I've chosen to die, should I fail to synthesize an elixir. I really shouldn't complain. I've led a long and interesting life. But that offers little comfort when death looms. You have greater troubles on your mind than the travails of an old man. But if you want my help, I want yours first. Assist me in discovering my cure, and you'll have more than my gratitude. I need biological samples, both raw materials and unique specimens. Bring the more common items whenever you have some to spare. As for my special needs, take these collection probes. Follow Thorn's broadcasts. They'll deploy their spike anywhere a Rat Ghoul outbreak is detected. Activate my probes in the Rat Ghoul's tunnels, and they'll gather cultures I may be able to use. You needn't worry. I'm in no danger of becoming a mindless beast. Only a corpse. Good luck. Those are fully stocked. All we need are the right samples, and a cure will be within our reach. Seed signals from my probes indicating a successful harvest. I need to run some tests to see whether these samples will help my condition. It was a good effort, but these samples don't possess the properties I need to continue my research. We'll have to try a different source. I have enough understanding of my condition to know what I'm looking for. I fear there's only one place we can still find it. A Sala. Any creature consumed by a sarlacc is slowly digested, alive, over a period of time long exceeding its natural longevity. The probes I gave you should be able to traverse a sarlacc's digestive tract safely, provided you deploy them nearby. In the event they can't, well, more invasive action may need to be taken. Let's hope it doesn't come Fears to that. my predictions proved accurate. I'll have to count my lucky stars tonight. Too true. Let's see what you've pulled from the jaws of death. The moment of truth. I don't anticipate a volatile reaction, but a little space might do. Warm, but not unpleasant. Pulse elevated. No swelling at the injection site. 
That will do. Some of my cells are showing signs of restoration. The gene therapy appears to be working. In a few days, the serum should have permeated my system. A weak hand, my body will have purged my cancers. I can already feel the strength seeping back into me. I'll be in top condition before you know it. This was a nice place to escape, but I don't think retirement suits me. Not yet. I'll join you on Odessan once I've swept the traces of this life Commander, away. I recently had the pleasure of making introductions with Dr. Eckerd Loken. Another worthwhile find. Well done as usual. A brilliant geneticist, boldly riding the bleeding edges of both biomedical and genetics research. And such a warm and pleasant personality. Truly a treat to work with. But Ego is insisting upon confining the good doctor to military duties. I need your help in swatting his grubby little paws away. I can understand Ego's logic given Loken's extensive history with Imperial intelligence. But from the moment I saw Eckerd, it was painfully obvious that art was his true calling. Given Ego's upbringing, I would frankly have thought him better able to understand this sort of thing. Yes, I knew you understood these things. It is why we get along so well. Very well, then. I will get back to work. I was just consulting with Loken about the tolerance for genetic mutation in sentience. You see, a prototype cloaking generator we've been developing has a side effect of inducing genetic mutation. I was about to abandon it entirely. But Loken's work has shown that most sentients have a surprisingly high tolerance for alteration before truly harmful mutations manifest. Quite fascinating, really. Apparently, I've been overly concerned. Commander, Ogarab just sent me a hollow, claiming you've authorized a dual assignment for Loken, that he'll be spending half his time in the research lab. Tell me the HUD is making this up. Come on, Commander, I'm serious. I understand he knows a lot about genetics and whatnot, but splitting his time with research work's going to really undermine us here. Understood, Commander. It's your call to make. If there's nothing else, I'll be getting back to work. Two tyrannical empires straddle our beloved galaxy, seeking to stamp out the virtues of democracy. So we must be doubly prepared to deliver a righteous boot of our own against these oppressors. It's humbling to find that my calls to action resonate with such a renowned member of your order. M14X, Republic Special Forces on temporary assignment with the Press Corps. While not my primary function, leadership and inspiration are core parts of my programming. Though my blaster cannons are silent, my vocoder has become another booming weapon for freedom. One meant to battle fear and complacency. My duty here is to instill a greater sense of purpose in the people. Now more than ever, the Republic needs its citizens to stand up and fight. I, for one, would love to give the erroneously named Eternal Empire a taste of high-yield justice. But we can't show our backs to those treacherous Sith. Until the home front is secure, my place is here, making sure those imps have to claw for every micro Jedi. The numerous reports of your gleaming saber cutting a swath through Imperial scum would overwhelm any lesser droid's processors. You'll be happy to know that victories involving you were referenced by a statistically significant number of new recruits as their inspiration for joining. Thanks to our efforts, recruitment is at an all-time high. The Republic stands stronger thanks to you. I can't say whether Command is ready to counter-strike our new enemy. But this droid is ready to get back in the fight. Together, we will be an unstoppable force of galactic liberation. 
nothing will halt my onslaught straight to the eternal throne. Onward! <laughs> Well, if it isn't, Master, um, hmm. It'll come to me. Sobering, isn't it? Buy me a drink or walk away. It's all the same to me. Living right? And a little relic I found on Korriban, it's not important. But you're not here to discuss my good looks. You're looking to hire me. Don't work for just anyone, though. Order a drink. Let's see what you're worth. No better way to show it. Throw something together that you think represents who you are. Not just something. Put thought into it. Go on. Surprise me. My stomach's made of Durasteel. The force is strong with this one. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. I think Saber Throw is a good name for it. I like your style. And this dump's lost its charm. Oh, here yours. I am, minding my own intergalactic smuggling operation, when some random excess freighter pulls a hotshot landing and out walks Nico O'Carr. I really thought they'd just turn out to be more rumors. But hey, I'll take it. Guy knows his stuff, has a lifetime of connections in the underworld, a name that opens doors, not to mention he's a crackshot gunslinger. And a fine pilot to boot. He's almost as good as me, and that's not the kind of thing I say lightly. Never sell a scoundrel short just because they're old, Commander. Just means they know twice as many tricks. At any rate, he's gonna be an all-around huge help. He's good enough that he can actually take some of the pressure off me, too. Today's looking to be a pretty good day. Dr. Rath, good boss for Lankas. Fearless warrior, renowned hunter, expert survivalist, and respected as a leader amongst his people. He's even respected by the Jedi Order. Not many Trandoshans get invited into the Jedi Temple on Tython just to catch up with old friends. By itself, word that Kaizen is working with us will give us huge inroads with most any Trandoshan clan out there. I agree entirely. In fact, I've already had the lot scheduled for regular psych evaluations to be sure. I don't think it'll be an issue, though. It was mainly Kefas that the Dreadmasters had control over. Most of the Warstalkers were freely following his strengths. <laughs> we got ourselves a Trandoshan hero leading some of the strongest Trandoshan forces this galaxy's ever seen. Pretty good day in my book, Commander. Still no word from Shaft 12. Atmospherics are bad. Maybe... Keep trying them. Just keep trying. I'm not losing anyone else out there. A Jedi. 
Oh, thank you. Someone's been listening, at least. I, well, there's hundreds of workers at dozens of camps. I'm not sure we can recall them safely with that madman on the loose. And things were going well, more or less, until a few weeks ago. Stopped getting word from a few of our camps. Then we started finding the bodies. Hacked to pieces. Nothing else touched. His only motive seems to be to hurt us. No, none. It started around the time we broke ground on Shaft 16. Probably a coincidence, but maybe there's something there we don't know about. I'll mark Shaft 16 on your map. Please be careful. This guy won't think twice about trying to kill you if you cross paths. Anyone out there? Hello? Please, someone answer. Yes, yes, this is Shaft 12. We can't reach base camp. Th that monster, he's killed everyone outside the tunnels. He's just waiting at the mouth, pacing. We're trapped. Oh, I think he heard me. He's coming. Help, please, help. No, 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 please! It is my duty. I must kill them. Don't let him. Please! I'm begging! Quiet! They have defiled a sacred burial. My father's bones lay cast aside. His face adorns a mantle. No Kalish could call him God now. I'm sorry. We're all sorry. We didn't know. The company has resources. They can make reparations. Their blood is the only offering that will slake my father's vengeance. Enshrined with their bones, his godhood may be restored. A temple for his veneration. Yes. Yes! Headquarters would have to agree to it. It would be a nightmare for them if this got out. Do not speak again. Make my father whole and return him to a place befitting a god. Your lives depend on it. My father will know peace again soon. Is it respect for the dead that stays my enemy's hand? I am bound to no one. You seek to command me. You must make me kneel. I will give you a warrior. You are a great warrior. I am Zalek. You may command me. Start. It's over. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought we were dead. Believe me, Headquarters is gonna get an earful about this. I'll never even dig near an old campsite again. Thank you for Dalek everything. has arrived. Thank you for your assistance. He speaks little, though his skills are considerable. His assistance will strengthen us. <laughs>